it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live for the first day of September on a Friday. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I ended up taking a quiet lunch, got out of the first half, and get a little move up. Should get out of the uh, the second half at 80%. For Power Hour, the premiums are skinny. Premiums have gone on a diet. VIX barely over 13, down another 2.8% today. Even with the, uh, I mean, the market gapped up, but it's been trading lower pretty much all day. But volatility continued to get sucked out of the market before the long holiday weekend. So I need to buy some longs. The longs are locked in. Yep, that's exactly right, Marl. I mean, the five wide strangle, you're, you're looking at tranche three premiums. So if you didn't see, I put out, I put out the, uh, my trade plan for September. Not trading tranche one is not in my trade plan. Kelvin Q. Trader Bianca hitting 70%. Looks like we may have a 4510 straddle. Give it a couple minutes. Low premiums, we're just going to need SPX to go into the holiday weekend, go on vacation a little bit early, you know, fall asleep, flatline. All right, looks like the 4510 straddle is what we're looking at.
45, 10 straddle trying to get filled at 660. Filled at 660. So for tranche two, I moved my position size to 16. So I need to go ahead and I have not updated my uh, toss trade templates. So let's assume tranche two is going to be five wide. Need to change that to 16. Tranche two, five wide, 16. Or if tranche two ends up being a straddle, change that to 16, 16, 16. Sixteen. All right, there we go. So it's going to be five wide or a straddle. I'll fix the rest of them later. Just hit 80% on my quiet lunch to exit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Take that going into the weekend. I assume there's no value in those. Nope. Uh, yeah, Kelvin. So I've, I've got a, a couple thoughts on that. Yeah. I noticed it was 0.51 and the back test is 0.5. So a couple, a couple ways to look at that. Number one, if you, you know, if you bend your rules, that's going to open the door. It's not about just that trade. It's going to open the door to bending the rules on it, on other trades, you know, especially if it works out right. On the other hand, you know, when you're when you're setting up your back test and you're setting your the criteria, you know, for me, I don't, you know, when I'm looking at, you know, 0.3% gap or 0.5% or 0.7, you know, I don't I don't look at I don't get as granular as 0.51 or 0.52. You know what I mean? So what I did is I just I just went into the back test and said, okay, what about 0.55? And it, you know, and it tested the exact same. So, um, did I do the right thing? Did I, did I kind of bend my rules? Maybe. I mean, you could certainly argue that, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm following the back test. I just, you know, at the time I set the back test, I, I was just using kind of wider, um, you know, kind of round numbers. And so uh, I, I can see the argument about, argument on both sides of that for either taking it or not taking it, but that's, that's what I did.
you know, if you're, if it's kind of borderline and you, you know, change a bunch of criteria to fit what's happening, you know, I mean, you just got to make that decision, right? I mean, that that's part of the art of trading and, and making decisions, but, uh, yeah, I, mean, I, did, I just, based on the, uh, based on the back test of just that tiny slight variation, I just, I didn't, you know, didn't change the back test at all. So yeah, I did skip the Rick because I have it set at 14 minimum and it was, it was under that. So I, I tested 13 and you know, I tested a bunch of numbers and it, it, it did affect it enough to the point where I decided not to take it. What's everybody doing on this nice long holiday weekend? I fortunately or unfortunately, I can't decide which have a, uh, my son's baseball tournament. It's really hoping they wouldn't schedule one on labor day weekend, but they did. So that's what I'm doing. I will be coaching baseball. Trader Bianca tractoring around. I'll be doing some of that too. Elliot doesn't get the day off because he's not American. All right. State Park. Three day back testing and planning. All right, Marl. Sounds exciting. Kirsch is going to Canada to save some bees. Uh, Mauro, I posted the monthly performance. It's in the trader chat. I'll be doing a weekly recap at the end of today as well. I ended up down about 2K for power hour for August, which I was down a uh, quite a bit, quite a bit more than that at one point. 20, 20 plus K at one point. You know, it's interesting. I was looking at my, through my trader sync for power hour and my best, if memory serves me right, my best month P and L wise was April. And I was trading six contracts on tranche one, three contracts on tranche two. And I think one or two on tranche three. So literally, you know, less than half the size of what I'm doing now, but yet my P and L in April was that much more. All right, other trades. We've got a double calendar and NDX. It's up a little bit, up about seven, eight hundred bucks. We've got a TGIF in SPX.
that is up a tiny bit, a couple hundred. Man, that uh, premium suckage today has really drooped these double calendars in the middle, hasn't it? Could pop back up next week. We'll see. Yep, got to do a 6-7 by the end of the day. Two fifteen to be exact. So I'll actually I'll probably do that right before tranche two. Probably still chopping around So for six, seven, I do 25 Delta. Filled at 475 partial. Part of it filled at 475. About five minutes till tranche two.
So I'll wait to see if my other part of my uh, six, seven fills while I am focusing on tranche two. Oh, there we go, filled. All right, so just posted that in the calendar channel. Tranche two looks like it's going to be a repeat of the 4510 straddle. I pointed out in my September update, there's a, a pretty decent difference in the uh, testing <clears throat> between 315 and 314 entry on tranche two. I, I mean, I think it's just kind of coincidental, but it was interesting to see on a trade like this, how much that minute difference made. Buy some longs for tranche two. All right, so now price is kind of right between the strikes. Let's see if it's going to push closer to one or, one or the other. Either the tens or the fifteens. All right, looks like a forty five ten straddle. Oops. Tranche two straddle. Trying to get filled at five eighty. Filled at five eighty five for tranche two. Loaded up on the forty five tens. Let's hope that's the pin.
I also now do a reduction in my stop at 40% on tranche two. So I move from three to two. Trunch one I got in at 660. So I'm looking for 395 for tranch one. and 350 for tranche two to reduce stops. I will have everyone know that Kay's barbecue order has been placed. Just want everybody to know I'm fulfilling my bet obligations. Boy, this VIX just wants to go down, doesn't it? So that low that we hit back in June was 12.73. We're down to 13.09. Yeah, I, they, I think they put like dry ice or something in it. I don't know. I've never had it shipped to me, but. They claim it's going to be fresh and good to go. Just warm it up. Yeah, I definitely got assigned on that. Let that expire. It went in the money on me. Got assigned a contract of barbecue. Yeah, yeah, it's all cooked. It just needs to be warmed up. I'm sure Dick K will send us pictures with him and his family with barbecue all over their face, just lapping it up, enjoying it at my expense. <laughs> I would expect nothing less, Dick K. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if they go to, I don't know if they deliver to Italy or not. I would say not. Yeah, probably not because they said they can't deliver on Mondays because they won't do it over the weekend. And the, and the, uh, 
target delivery date, they said it could be delivered one or three days before or after that date. Sounds a that sounds like a wager you need to make, Chris. I'm not here to do your betting for you, Chris. I I have my own problems betting. If you didn't notice, Trunch three might have a shot at a five point wide, but could be a straddle as well. Tried to get out of my 6E for a quick 30%, but uh, kind of popped back up on me. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that order. Looks like a couple people had gotten out. I put their orders in early and got out. I was not that quick. Oil is up a couple percent today. We'll just leave our ES hedgehog on till uh, Tuesday. Rolled up some puts in MES. Got a QQ Q duck that will expire for beak profit today. And we put on a time fly. Just put on the full structure instead of uh, just the fly first, so. The volatility as low as it is. I didn't want to just put on the fly, so put on the full structure. Give that some, uh, give that four days to work on. All right, tranche three. Oh, shoot. I forgot to adjust my. So I'm doing 14 contracts here. So. Trunch three, five wide, 14. Trunch three straddle, 14. There we go. So now I need to buy some longs. Looks like the fifteen ten.
Trunks three five wide. Fourteen. I'm going to get filled at 290. Filled at 295. Oh, I see what happens. It got two different ones. All right, so let's go with. Okay, and we all mess with that later. Three dollar stop. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. All right, I'm in. Locked and loaded. Forty four ten is the sweet spot. Hmm, that's interesting, Andrew K. I I was under the impression that you could have a second margin account if you if it was a joint. Guess you're just gonna have to put it all in all in your wife's name. Wait, you're saying that it was under a different individual's name? They're both under your name? Yeah, you can't do that. I I thought you could as a joint, though. I don't know. I don't, I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Or if you have an LLC, you could do it under the LLC's name. Is that right, Wuga? Well, IRAs are not margin. Yeah, IRAs would be would be different. With toss on IRAs, you can trade defined risk spreads in an IRA. So you have to have the mar you have to have the uh options approval level, but it's not, it's not considered a margin account. And with toss, you can't trade naked. You can trade cash secured puts, but you can't, you couldn't trade like naked calls. Tasty works. You can. SPX climbing up towards 
you can't trade um no i don't think you would be able to trade you can't uh, you can't trade any spreads in a cash account but i, I was saying in an ira account you can Cash account, the only thing you can do is buy long options. You could buy calls or buy puts. SPX has been getting a little bouncy since 1.30. Needs to calm down. Calm your little self down. Tranche one, my stops at ten sixty, spreads trading at seven sixty. Tranche two, my stop is at five ninety five, spreads trading at four dollars. Or no, that's tranche three. Confusing myself with my different number of contracts now. Tranche two stops at eight eighty five, spreads trading at seven. Still hanging around 45, 15, 27 minutes to go. Maybe get a little ice water. Today's lunch was uh, made up of zucchini and ribeye cooked on the Blackstone, since I know you guys care. Did not uh, did not get away to work out today. Don't feel very good about that. I always feel so much better at the end of the day if I've taken a taken a break to work out. 
but it didn't happen today. I used to, I used to work out at 5 a.m., 5 or 5.30 every day. I just don't like to do that anymore. I'm more of a uh, lunchtime guy now. Or late morning. I still get up early. Just don't like the... Uh, don't like getting after it lately. All right, getting a little down move back to NASDAQ is red. Russell's up over 1%. Gold is flat. Silver's lower. Bonds, decent move lower in bonds, down over a percent. Oil back up above 85 a barrel. Bitcoin back down and under 26,000. All right, nice little red bar coming in. Back down to 45.10 and settle in. Twenty minutes till the bell. Let's see who are the uh, Power Hour faithful here today. We got Tevis, Alan Campbell, Alex, Andrew K, Otten, Ra, Bianca, Daniel, Dick K, Edward Hunt, Eli, Elliot, 
Eric Allison, Francisco, Gary Harsha. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think I am Mitt Ball. Welcome, welcome. JRJB, Jim WZ123, Kelvin Q, Ken Klaz, Krish, Kylio, Lando, Louis Morrow, Mirage. Meech, what are you doing here? How'd they let you off work? MRP, Amono, Philip Marcus's iPhone, Radic, Ricardo, Ryan Murphy, S, Terrell Sims, Trader AL, Vegas Michelle, Wooga, Ryan P. Those SIGs, they are the currency. That would be alphabetical order, Krish. Somehow Ryan P got stuck at the end of the list, though. And Tevis got stuck at the beginning. Not sure how that happened. Everybody else is alphabetical. Oh, there we go. It's because Tevis was off mute. He was trying to come in here and talk to everybody. Does anybody want to talk today? Does anybody want to jump on the mic with me? Anyone except Krish. <laughs> no takers. All right. Guess I'll just sit here and talk to myself like I always do. I need like a I need a co-host. We're gonna we're gonna start having tryouts for co-hosts. Yeah, that Monday really throws in the wrench on the old. Three fives, three sixes, and three sevens. You do that. What do you want the panel to be comprised of? been a lot of uh, a lot of discussion in different channels about the topic of transitioning from you know a part-time trader to a full-time trader I definitely want to I definitely want to dive deeper on that because I think that's a I think there's a lot to that that we could kind of bring up to the surface Yeah, so I may I might reach out to a handful of you all who are already full time professional traders to see if you'd be interested in having a uh, putting together a little discussion. I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be good. Fifteen minutes, ten minutes till exit. Yeah. 
you know, even, even for me, I just, um, you know, I, I just, I, I really like, and if, if it's at all possible, I, I really always encourage people to try to have some other source of income other than trading. I think it just, I think it just frees up the mind to make trading decisions so much better. I know that's not a something you can just snap your fingers and create, but or you know, obviously, or I mean, there's a lot of variables to that, or you know, just be in a situation where you're not truly dependent upon your trading income to pay your bills. You know, making sure you don't don't have any debt, making sure you just don't have these uh, these financial obligations that would create a stress or a that would cause you to make the trading decisions based on trying to pay those financial obligations. That's that can be no bueno. Yeah. And then, you know, you go through, a, you go through a, a drawdown. I was, this is what I mentioned to you a little bit, Elliot, in the other, in the other channel was, you know, what do you, what, what do you do then? How do you react when you go through a drawdown? Do you try to increase your size to make that back because you want to get back, you know, because you have things that, to pay for? Do you scale down because you're nervous? You know, all those, all those little things make a huge difference. All right, trading around 45.12. Uh, MRP, how about we create a channel and share ideas for trading strategies in long-term accounts like an IRA? Um, I mean, we have the different channels for each strategy, which you know, a lot of them can be traded in an IRA, except for like the, you know, short strangles. But all the, you know, butterflies, ducks, calendars, those are all IRAs. It can be done in shorter or longer duration. Coming into the 4511 handle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're a, you're you're a uh, you're a, you're an adrenaline junkie. You got to have that blood pumping, don't you? Spot, if you can set up a Monday, Friday, oh, 710. Yeah, September 8, 11. Yeah, I've already got two of those. I got a TGIF and a NDX, both double calendars on the 710. So I'm pretty good there. Oh yeah, forgot about my stop reduction. I saw 395. Just as I opened it, move and stop on tranche one to six ninety five.
Toronto two. I'm looking for three fifty. It's trading at about three eighty. Need a price to go back down, back down to forty five ten, please. I'll change that to five fifty. Three sixty, three fifty, changing stop to five fifty on tranche two. That feels good. Feels good to lock in a little since I don't do trailing stops. About three minutes till I exit. All right, no need to be a hero today, SPX. Let's just calm down, get back down to where you belong. Must be bouncing off VWAP again. <laughs> Am I right? It was forty five ten the VWAP? Did I get that right? See, I know VWAP so well that I don't even have to have it on my chart. I just visualize it. Let's set tranche three at one dollar. Tranche two. A little little drop here in the next minute. Not a push, a drop. Thirty seconds till eject. No, you're going the wrong way. Sold at five ninety. Ugh. Terrible move. Terrible, terrible move. So 
7.30. And 2.35. All right, so I think I was still profitable, but taketh a lot away in the last couple minutes. All right, so tranche one, I got in at 6.60. Out at looks like some let's see forty five tens that would have been so I got in at six sixty out at five ninety and five eighty so that was a small winner tranche two in at five eighty five out at some at five eighty basically a scratch out at some at seven twenty five and thirty. And then tranche three in at 295 out at 235, about a 60, 60 cent winner. So net, net profitable, but not what it could have been. All right, my friends, uh, let's see, checking the live stream channel for. Monday is Labor Day. Market is closed. Tuesday and Wednesday, Chad in the morning. Thursday, Friday, Zero DTE and me in the morning. And then we'll be, of course, streaming for Power Hour every day next week. Except Labor Day. All right, guys and gals, have a great weekend. Be safe. Take care. Chat with you soon.